Also new, back in business. After a fire shut the place down, Kravitz Deli is once again fully serving customers. First News Weekend Morning anchor Samantha Bender is live at opening day from one of the Valley's favorite restaurants. Sam. Chelsea, good afternoon. Yes, an exciting day here at Kravitz Deli. They are officially reopened for dine-in service today after a fire back in November forced it to shut its doors. Now, if you take a look at your screen here, you'll see the grease fire that damaged the kitchen. The business did reopen for takeout in early January, but today marks the first official day that customers can come and dine back in the deli. Now, I'm live here with owner Matt Ridaro. Matt, I've been having a fun morning talking to customers who are excited to finally be back here. How excited are you to finally see your customers again? I'm very excited. I mean, we had uh, three of our regulars that come every single day already here, so that's uh, that's good to see. And then, uh, a bunch of people I remember from, you know, they used to come once a week. Um, now, although there wasn't severe damage from the kitchen fire, you guys did take the opportunity to spend a couple of months making some repairs and improvements. Walk me through some of those. So it, it actually was very severe. Um, it took out the whole hood that we make all of our sandwiches on. Um, without that, we couldn't do nothing. Um, but we improved that. We moved it from like a five foot to an eight foot to be able to add the fries and, and uh, have more flat top area to cook on. Um, we did a lot of work in the kitchen um, behind the dishwasher, put on new stainless steel and um, new sinks and stuff like that for the uh, chef. But uh, it's about it. Painted everything and you know stayed a little busy, cleaned up a lot, a lot of stuff. All right, Matt. Thank you. And they also have an exciting new menu item. Customers can now purchase French fries. Kravitz Deli is open until 6 p.m. today. Hear from some loyal customers coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Live in Liberty, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News.